All right. So it's been a while since I said I would release the video for how to do this mod here, uh, the charge port mod. So as I said, I'd re release how to do it. Uh, I'll just talk everyone through on how to do it first. So let me just get the motherboard out. Oh, how are you doing this one handed? Uh, the display flex, I should know this well enough to do this now. All right, so we've got the PSV on motherboard. Now the reason I have electrical tape is the previous port pins, I've covered them up and this looks really fucking terrible. First time I saw. All right, so let's explain everything going on here. So um, me being me with shitty soldering equipment, I screwed up the ferrite bead, but that doesn't really matter as for now. Yeah, the therapy is actually fine, to be honest. One of the problems I came across is that it wouldn't charge, and I sat there scratching my head for days, and I had to just bridge the, the uh, VCC past the fuse Yeah, And in the ground, I carried the signal all the way up to here. As for the mappings for this certain like uh, port, I'll release it in the description. And... The wire used for the data lines is like this very tiny wire, it's pretty fine wire, quite a pain to focus on. So yeah, it's a simple enough mod, what you got to do is, when you get the port, this will be full circle, you need to cut that to about, uh, about, mm, let's see one sec, will this bloody camera focus already? Uh, anyway, the camera doesn't want to seem to cooperate yet, so you can see what you need to cut that to. You need to cut it to like a half kind of cut, weird shape, and then you need to scratch away some of the board here, and then mount that to there, so this doesn't damage anything, and it just stays on. Now, um, me getting the port off, it was quite a pain. I actually had to dismantle the port by removing the shielding first, and then taking off the actual port itself. And that's how I ended up with this mod because I just really got fed up and this actually fits perfectly in the PSVR. Doing this one handed is actually quite a task. Got things dangling off everywhere. So, uh, yeah, this way around should be fine. Trying to do this through the camera. It's a terrible idea. I'm done. All right. And yeah, I've removed the camera and all that just for this tutorial video because I don't really want to display all of that. But anyway, this fits quite perfectly. I mean, there was some mess up on my bit where there's tiny disalignment here, but it fits literally perfect with the casing. There will be a tiny gap. If you want to fill that with some sort of plastic filler, go ahead. This looks terrible as well. But you kind of have to like remove like a line here. There's a line to support the old connector. You just have to cut that out the casing. And then you'd have these curved bits here. And you'd have to kind of uh, cut them as well. So once you've got them cut, you're fine. Yeah, that all fits in perfectly. You need to make sure you have tape there for the old pins. Now the pin mapping for this port, it does have a special pin mapping, again as I was saying, but I'm going to uh, put that up uh, in the description what pin to do, because there's other pins that I don't know do what, but what I basically had to do was poke about with a USB connector and some other stuff until I got the right pins, and then I guess I got it. Anyway, that should conclude how to do this mod. It's not very difficult. If you want to know which port this is, this is actually a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 charger port without the flex, just the port itself. It's pretty easy to find, it's pretty cheap, you can do it easily as long as you have this wire for the data lines. You'd need pretty thin wire. Do not use this wire for the power or ground lines. 
because that's not a very smart idea. This is very thin wire. It's not meant for like uh, even near two amps or anything. Because I think the original PS Vita charger uses about 1.5 amps. Yeah, 1.5 amps. Uh, this this wire can't deal with that. It will heat up a lot, and it's just not good to have, especially with the thin coating. It will uh, cause a bit of interference. But yeah, that's how to do this mod. Ground wire goes all the way up to the side of this port here. That's it.